For years, Apple's iPhone lineup has been distinguished by its unwavering commitment to exceptional performance. The current lineup already stands head and shoulders above the competition. I'm stronger, I'm smarter, I'm better, I am better! This year, the iPhone 15 Pro version is expected to maintain the status quo, with Apple's new A17 chip promising unparalleled performance. Today, we will delve into the speculation surrounding the A17 chip to see what it has to offer. Power Boost Expectations Throughout its history, Apple has consistently delivered exceptional performance through its custom-designed A-series chips across all iPhone models. However, a notable shift occurred with the iPhone 14 lineup as Apple opted to equip only the higher-end Pro models with the newer A16 Bionic chip. It was very lit. In contrast, the lower-end models featured the A15 Bionic chip from the previous year. Unsurprisingly, this strategy is expected to persist in this year as well, while the rest of the lineup will retain the current A16 Bionic chip. Higher-end models, notably the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Ultra, will be powered by the highly anticipated A17 Bionic chip, marking a significant milestone as it will be the first chip produced using TSMC's cutting edge 3 nanometer process node. Wow, it's a first for everything. This technological advancement translates to an increased transistor density, estimated to range from 20 to 24 billion transistors. But what exactly does this mean? 3 nm node production. The transition to smaller production nodes signifies significant progress in semiconductor technology. Smaller production nodes allow for higher transistor density, enabling more transistors to be packed into a chip. They're like crammed in there, you know, like, like sardines. The forthcoming A17 chip is expected to leap significantly by utilizing a 3NM node from the previous 5NM. So why does this matter? Typically, a higher transistor count corresponds to a more powerful and energy efficient chip. Considering past models, the iPhone 11 series 7 nanometer A13 Bionic chip boasted around 8.5 billion transistors. The A14, A15, and A16 models used a 5nm chip. However, each generation raised the bar to 11.8 billion, 15 billion, and 16 billion transistors, respectively. According to TSMC, the N3 technology will offer up to 70% logic density gain, up to 15% speed improvement at the same power. As such, we're expecting the A17 chip to have a massive boost in performance. We'll give more details on that soon. Specifications of the A17 chip The specifications of Apple's A16 Bionic chip were genuinely remarkable establishing it as a true technological marvel. Yes, a beautiful, glorious machine. Consequently, some features will be carried over to this year's iteration. But what's changing? The upcoming A17 Bionic chip is projected to maintain its six-core configuration, featuring four efficiency and two performance cores, while the A16 Bionic utilized ARM's V8.6 architecture the A17 chip will likely use ARM's V9 architecture. For the machine learning and AI tasks neural engine, we could witness an 18% boost in performance, with operations per second potentially reaching 20 trillion from the previous 17 trillion. Small, but okay. Moreover, Apple may match the utilization of LPDDR 5X RAM found in Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 upgrading from the 6 gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM utilized in the iPhone 14 Pro models. It's merely speculation at this point, but we should see more leaks going forward and we'll keep you updated. So subscribe to our channel and get notified of any new uploads. Performance of the A17 chip. Last year, Apple had ambitious plans to enhance the GPU on the A16 Bionic chip. However, during development, they encountered challenges that hindered their progress. Their intention to introduce ray tracing capabilities to the A16 Bionics GPU was abandoned due to overheating issues. You left me, you left me to die. 
my boy. I didn't have a choice. Consequently, they had to incorporate a GPU based on the previous year's A15 Bionic chip instead. This year, we may witness more substantial improvements with the A17 Bionic chip. Apple usually delivers annual performance increases between 15% and 30%. It is expected that the A17 Bionic chip's GPU performance improvement will fall within this range. Furthermore, adopting next-generation production techniques allows the chips to consume up to 35% less power. While this alone may not revolutionize the iPhone's battery life, it does hint at the possibility of significant battery life improvements. Finally, the A17 Bionic might deliver a 33% faster maximum data rate and a 25% reduction in latency if it does adopt the LP DDR5X RAM. The debut of the A17 chip. Apple has followed a consistent release schedule for its A series chips, typically introducing a new chip with each new generation of iPhone. As we said earlier, the A17 Bionic chip is expected to be introduced in 2023 with the iPhone 15 Pro versions. So the real question is, when does the iPhone 15 series debut? That's the thing. Apple typically introduces new iPhone models during a special event held in September or October. While a specific date is unknown, the iPhone 15 models are expected to debut in mid-September 2023 and we should see the A17 Bionic chips as well. Let us know in the comment section which dates you're tipping the iPhone 15 models to debut. As Apple continues to innovate with its A-series chips, the iPhone 15 Pro powered by the A17 Bionic is poised to deliver an exceptional user experience. Raising the bar for mobile technology once again, with its release on the horizon, the A17 Bionic chip is undoubtedly one to watch as it sets the stage for the future of iPhone performance and functionality. Coupled with Apple's highly anticipated iOS 17 software, we might be looking at a new era of innovation and seamless user interaction. Our next video will discuss Apple's iOS 17 software, so make sure you watch that too.